Hey everyone, in the news this week, OJ Simpson passed away this week at the age of 76 from cancer, and I guess OJ can now finally rest knowing that his wife's killer is finally dead. In the meantime, a spokesperson for prostate cancer came out and defended the disease, saying that they won't rest until the real killer is found, but for now most of us are simply more interested in seeing what the funeral procession will look like. I'm imagining a hearse slowly driving along the LA freeway, possibly pulled by horses or more specifically a white bronco with a slow driving police entourage. Angela Rayner also remained in the news this week with her slow-burning financial scandal trundling along and the general consensus is that she's unlikely to resign simply because she thinks that everyone's at it anyway and the party is likely to be re-elected regardless, so why would she walk away from the possibility of a six-figure job and expense account falling into her lap before the end of the year? Well, that was a funny old thing, I guess. I had a friend from college who had a nice house and a decent job, but then he got involved in drugs. And now he's got a mansion, four acres of land, and drives a Bentley. And I guess, really, that's what makes the Angela Rayner story worse. If she'd intended to break the law, then there's far more lucrative ways of doing it than becoming a shadow secretary of state. But that's the sort of joined-up thinking you get from politicians. It's where we get to the place where the current government has a website dedicated to healthy living, yet the very first thing it pops up is a message telling you to accept cookies. And finally, I was going to talk about the Iranian attack on Israel and the possible repercussions, but all seems to be well for now, seeing as Israel shot down 99% of the incoming missiles. I'm pretty sure Alec Baldwin had a better hit ratio on his last film shoot. Anyway, see you next week. Flat these. Click subscribe.